How are diamonds made? This is the origin of one of the most precious gemstones on the planet. The first step to diamond formation is carbon dioxide and other carbon-rich minerals getting trapped below the Earth's surface. This is generally trapped through organic matter that has been buried over the years, and it's found in the mantle around 100 miles or 160 kilometers underneath the surface of the Earth. The second step to forming a diamond is subjecting that carbon to heat and pressurization. The carbon needs to be heated to around 2200 degrees Fahrenheit or 1204 degrees Celsius. The carbon also needs to be subjected to an intense pressure of about 725,000 psi or 5,000 megapascals. At this point, the diamonds have been made, but now they need to be delivered to the surface so that we can find them. Since these diamonds are so deep under the crust of the Earth, it requires deep source volcanic eruptions to carry the diamonds up through the mantle and the plates to the surface so that we can find them, or a subduction zone needs to occur to carry the diamonds to the surface. Through these many different ways, we can find diamonds close to the surface that actually formed way down in the Earth. Different lattice structures in these diamonds and different mineral contaminations make the different colors of the diamond. For example, graphite in a diamond can turn it black or a dark color, whereas pure diamonds without any contamination are clear. Diamond strength is actually due to its threefold symmetrical lattice structure, which makes it one of the hardest minerals in the world. On the Mohs hardness scale, diamond is number 10. And that's as high as the scale goes. So that's how you make a diamond.